What's up you guys, this is Adana, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because it is giveaway time. Yes, that is right. I told you guys that every month this year I will be doing a giveaway. This month we're starting this giveaway out for my pre-PA students. So if you're a pre-PA student, listen up because this is for you. So in this giveaway, I will be giving away a six month subscription to Magusha's GRE prep course, along with a subscription to Rosh Reviews pre-PA anatomy boot camp. So you will be well prepared for when you get into PA school. To enter into the giveaway, you simply need to leave a comment in the comment section below telling me why you want to be a PA and where you're at in your PA journey. That's it. It's simple as that. The winner will be announced this upcoming Sunday, January 31st. So be sure to leave your comment so that you can be entered into the giveaway. For my PA students, have no fear. I have not forgotten about you. Your giveaway will be next month. We will be alternating giveaways between pre-PA students and PA students every month. So make sure that you stay tuned so you'll know exactly when the next giveaway is. All right, let's get back to our regularly scheduled video. What's up you guys, it's Adana welcome back to my channel. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. As usual, I invite you to take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and join the family and hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to be answering a question basically about housing in PA school. Like how do you find housing? Where do you go? How much is housing? I guess you could say we're going to be hitting a bunch of those various different topics. So let's get into the video right now. one of you all so if you haven't already done so subscribe and leave your comment in the comment section below because that is the only way that you can get your comment answered on a video or in a video form I will do my best to answer them in the comment section as well okay so the Taisha or Taisha says I have a question about housing during PA school most apartments need to know that your monthly income is three to four times the rent or you have to have someone co-sign for you. And sorry so much for like butchering your name if I did. I've noticed this even with student housing, less and less places accept financial aid or loans as income. How do you find housing when you aren't able to work or have no one to co-sign for you? So that is a great, great question. And I know like a lot of people are like, well, how am I gonna do this if I need to find a co-signer? Like I don't have anybody that can co-sign for me. Um, and I mean, that's not always true. There might be somebody that's willing to co-sign for you. Um, so you just kind of really have to bite the bullet and ask. And even people that you may not think might be willing might actually be willing. So just like keep that in mind. Um, but also like a lot of the students did get co-signers. That was definitely something that they did or use their income prior to um, school to get into an apartment. Um, there were several students that kind of bunked up. So one student or two student may have been on the actual lease, but then it was almost like subletted, I guess you could say, where it was maybe a four bedroom apartment or a three bedroom apartment. And so they had other students that were in the program come on board with them to help pay the rent. So how do you go about doing that? There are lots of school forums. All of the schools have like Facebook pages or Instagram pages of people that either have gotten into PA school or currently there. Um, so what you can do is you can just reach out to those people or you can be like, hey, you know, I just recently got in. I'm really looking for a roommate. Um, if anybody else is looking for a roommate, please hit me up. And that's really kind of like how it goes. There were a lot of students that I thought knew each other when I first started PA school. I'm like, oh my gosh, like how does everybody know each other? Are they all from like this same town? But that wasn't the case. Um, they met each other on the forum and they kind of linked up that way and then they became roommates. And so it was nice kind of already having somebody to kind of walk into PA school with like, oh, I'm familiar with this person. Not everybody stayed friends throughout that process and like were as close as they were on the first day of PA school, but it was beneficial. And so that's something that you may have to like bear in mind that sometimes like you may be sitting up here and you're like, you think you're getting a good deal, but it's not really that good of a deal because uh, that person might turn out to be somebody who your spirit just doesn't agree with. And that's, you know, something that you're going to have to deal with and really be mindful of when you're trying to study for PA school. 
Okay, so just bear bear that in mind. Um, my school that I went to also had the option of like graduate student housing. And so that way they weren't looking for like, how are you gonna pay in terms of like having three months rent or, you know, three times the rent or, you know, uh, if you are using loan money or not, like they didn't care because they knew like you were a graduate student. Now those fill up like pretty, pretty quickly from what I understand for most schools. So if you are interested in graduate student housing, that's something that you're gonna have to like look into now um, you know as soon as you get that acceptance letter you you try to source that out I actually used graduate student housing when I went back to PA school so I don't know if you guys remember or know if I've told you all all of my journey I'm pretty sure I have mentioned it at some point but I was in PA school for a year I mean my family we moved down for a didactic year um, so we rented like a townhouse for that initial year and then we moved back to the DMV area um, for me to do all of my rotations in Maryland and then I had three months where I had to be back in Virginia for summative and that was like the ending like end cap of PA school um, so my family didn't move back for that three months like I think they actually just spent one month with me um, and we kind of lived in a hotel for that month but that's like a whole nother story like <laughs> that I'll tell you guys about on another day but uh, I did graduate student housing for like the first month ish of that that summer break um and so it was really inexpensive i think it was like maybe like 500 dollars a month or something like that and it was all inclusive and so that is also the beauty of graduate student housing is a lot of this is all inclusive so you know electricity heat um gas if they use gas all of that is included in the rent and it's typically an ex less expensive than if you were to go and get your own apartment apartment. Um, I did share with like that housing with a roommate. Um, and again, <laughs> long story, but um, that was an option. So those are things that you can look into. Uh, and then again, just kind of see what you, you, you might be able to find. There might be somebody that you know that may be willing to co-sign with you. But um, typically, especially if it's in an area where the, it's known to have students, you might want to just kind of look around and see, um, you know, look on like Zillow and places like that, that are where people are renting rooms or, um, you know, like an Airbnb type of thing, uh, where you might be able to do like a more long-term rental or something like that. Just saying, you know, those are your options. So you might want to look into those things. All right, so hopefully this helped answer your question. Um, if you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and follow me on Instagram at the PA. And guys, don't forget to check out Get That C University because we have some great things coming up for you. I'll talk to you guys next time. 